that it, folks. Hope you're doing well, staying safe. As promised, we're taking out the uh, Spanish, new Spanish cruising line. And just one quick update. I'm actually going to be doing some quick sub tips for the rest of the month, too. Things I didn't get a chance to do in sub month that I want to actually do. And those videos will be like 60 seconds long. But let's get back to them. So far, I have all of tier 8 so far. And I've played this one a little bit. And she's fun. I think this is my co-op battle. Yeah, it is. So... It's definitely good for co-op, definitely good for randos as well. They play very much so far like the South American land I just did as well. Um, AP is eh, not good. HE is fantastic. Reload's a bit slow, but other than that, they're really good. And most importantly, and I'll get to in a minute, this tier 5's range starts at 15k, which is phenomenal compared to some ships at tier 5. And she does have a surprise when you see the belt arm in a minute. That, that does help you not get citadel, but you can mostly citadel with HE. But as always, let's just jump into it and we'll find out what she's got. Armley out. So here's the funny thing. 13 mil, but she's got this 38 and 57 all along here where the Citadel is. She can actually bounce. So if you angle, here let me just about the Citadel's high. If you angle, you can actually angle battleship uh, hits with that. So I'd be very good about that. Hit points, really decent, over 30,000. Computer protection is non-existent. She's got uh, four two-barrel, 150 millimeter, just like the South American line. 2,000 damage maximum. She's got a nine-second reload, but turret traverse a little slow to at 15.7, but man, range at 15K. Yeah, you can really set things on fire, especially battleships. Torpedoes, uh, three per side times two, so she's got one launcher each side. Their 88-second reload, almost 12,000 damage is really good, but 59 knots is dead slow. She might be one of the slowest up there. At 1.2 kilometers, so you could pretty much maneuver around them if you wanted to. Airstrike, only one. I wish to at least give you a two, because you're going to go up against Tier 6 Submarine, like the U-69. Uh, AA, well, it's AA. Uh, speed, 34.7 with a uh, speed flag. She's really good. Now, rudder shifts 8 seconds without great, but she's got good tight turning radius. Concealment's excellent. At this tier, at 8.9, I think that's fantastic for a cruiser. That's with all the, uh, the bells and whistles. And she's a smoke penalty of 4.6 firing at smoke. You get put on fire, fire you're seen at 10.9 kilometers. Put the fire out. And, of course, air at 5.1, which is good in itself as well. Let's go into the equipment. I, you know, as you know me, I take main armor modification. It's only tier 5, so it's three slots. I take engine room. You can also get an upgrade to hydro or damage control. I just took engine room protection. And I took aiming my systems modification because I want to be able to accurately aim at 15K as much as possible. Straight up, high explosive, AP, torpedoes, the usual stuff. Hydro's really decent too. Three kilometers for torps and four for ships. And she's got almost almost two minutes of runtime. 10 seconds short. Great for a repair, a repair. 57 second recharge. There's my flag. Set them up for HE. Exterior, there's no permanent camo. And I'm not buying camo, so she's going naked. <laughs> Let's go look at our captain here. So, right off the bat, take grease the gears to help the turrets. If not, they're even worse. Incoming fire is very important to me, and so is last stand. Uh, as well, I always take party target. Those are pretty important to me. Demolition expert, adrenaline rush. I did take survivability uh, for more health because I don't have a heal at this level. So, it's kind of like, eh, it's a bit bad. Took concealment, which is obviously. And then I do take RPF. It is phenomenal to help you find destroyers and subs when they come to the surface exactly what they are so i'm very happy with that this is almost like the south american build that i did while the captain's there it's, it's very close but overall as we get into it this is one of rando games um the range at 15 kilometers really really helps you can do what i'm doing here and standing off and this is the beginning of the game i was in one of the rando games and i'm standing off and letting the rest of my tier five friends run in um standing off will allow you to fire start fires do the same we didn't do so well on this side of the flank. But anyway, it, like I said, to be able to start fires, you'll do a lot of damage and you don't have to be seen. That's what I'm doing right here. Let someone else spot. Just keep shooting and keep reloading and keep shooting. Torpedoes are phenomenally good at defensive when you come around the corner. I've taken on a few battleships late in the game doing that. This so far, I would say, is very comparable to the South American Tier 5 uh, and Tier 6. They're really good boats. I think this is going to end up being a good line, but I'm not going to spoil it because uh, the tier, uh, tier 6 review is coming up next. But let me know down in the comment, what do you guys think? Um, do you guys going to get this line? Do you like the Spanish line? What do you think? Let me know. As always, take care, stay safe, and wish you all the best. So, as always, bye for now.